707 right now, we talk about IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, a very common disorder. It affects the stomach and intestines. Yeah, and if you're hearing more about IBS recently through social media and the news, this is not an accident. Local doctors, they are actively raising awareness about the disorder to get rid of some of the stigma surrounding it. IBS is so common that it affects about 5% of the total U.S. population. That's about 1 in 20 people, but some estimates go all the way up to 1 in 5. Dr. Sandeep Walia with Corewell Health sees patients for all kinds of digestive issues, including IBS, which can cause abdominal pain, bloating, changes in bowel habits, and more. He says awareness is growing on social media and in the medical world, and this is good news. So people are more aware about it there on social media. It's the direct you know, cost related to IBS care in the, in the United States is estimated almost up to $10 billion a year. So that amount of resource utilization, it's important to people. And while there is no cure for IBS, people can manage their symptoms through lifestyle and diet change and medication. If your symptoms persist and start severely affecting your day to day, Dr. Walia says it may be a good idea to see a medical professional for a possible endoscopy or colonoscopy to check for any complications. And some reminders about the 2023 West Michigan Take Steps event. That's happening this weekend in Grand Rapids. It ties right into this whole IBS story we're talking about. It is Saturday, June the 24th. It starts at 10, opening ceremony at 1115. The walking route is through Millennium Park, about 1.6 miles there through that beautiful park. And all the money raised goes back to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation that works with, of course, those uh, diseases as well as IBS research. Yeah, and our own Candace Monticelli will be there. Yes, She's she actively will. involved every year, so you can say hello to her there. Yeah.